In this patient education video, you will understand about the role of the thyroid hormone, the imbalance in thyroid hormone functioning, the tests done to ascertain the functioning of thyroid hormone, how to interpret the results of the test. The thyroid gland is a small organ that's located in the front of the neck, wrapped around the windpipe also called trachea. It's shaped like a butterfly, smaller in the middle with two wide wings that extend around the side of your throat. Like many other glands with specific functions, the thyroid gland makes hormones that help control many vital functions of your body. Regulate the body's metabolic rate, controlling heart, muscle and digestive function, brain development and bone maintenance. When your thyroid makes either too much or too little of these important hormones, it's called a thyroid disease. There are several different types of thyroid diseases, including hypothyroidism, hypothyroidism, thyroiditis, and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. The thyroid controls your metabolism with a few specific hormones. For example, T4, T3 are the two hormones which tell your body's cells how much energy to use. As the hormones are used, the thyroid creates replacements. This is supervised by something called the pituitary gland. Located in the center of the skull, below your brain, the pituitary gland monitors and controls the amount of thyroid hormones in your bloodstream. When the pituitary gland senses a lack of thyroid hormones, or a high level of hormones in your body, it will adjust the amounts with its own hormone. This hormone is called thyroid stimulating hormone. The TSH will be sent to the thyroid and it will tell the thyroid what needs to be done to get the body back to normal. The purpose of thyroid testing is to measure its function. This is done by looking at the substances produced by the thyroid gland and other organs that control thyroid function. TSH This is usually the first test your provider will do to check for thyroid hormone imbalance. If TSH is abnormal, measurement of thyroid hormones directly including thyroxine T4 and triiodothyronine T3 may be done to further evaluate the problem. Normal TSH range for an adult is 0.40 to 4.50 milli international units per liter of blood. T4 Thyroxine tests for hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism are used to monitor treatment of thyroid disorders. T3 Triiodothyronine tests help diagnose hypothyroidism or to show the severity of hyperthyroidism. Thyroglobulin is a protein made by the thyroid gland. It is mostly measured as a tumor marker to help guide thyroid cancer treatment. These tests alone aren't meant to diagnose any illness but may prompt your healthcare provider to do additional testing to evaluate for a possible thyroid disorder. Additional tests might include thyroid antibodies, calcitonin and thyroglobulin. Your healthcare provider might do an imaging test called a thyroid scan. This allows your provider to look at your thyroid to check for an increased size, shape or growths. Another way to quickly check the thyroid is with a physical exam in your healthcare provider's office. Test results are numbers until they are interpreted to give them meaning. The one test that arguably gives the most insight is the TSH. When used with the free T3 and free T4 tests, the TSH may even suggest the cause of any problem. 
TSH values outside of a normal range suggest a thyroid disorder is at work. Values at or near the upper or lower range may suggest a subclinical disorder without any symptoms. A TSH value between 4.7 and 10 milliunits per litre is a subclinical low thyroid problem. Over 10 milliunits per litre is a low thyroid problem that's symptomatic. Between 0.1 and 0.5 milliunits per litre is a subclinical overactive thyroid problem. Less than 0.1 milliunits per litre is an overactive thyroid problem that's symptomatic. T3 and T4 interpretations. By comparing TSH with T4 values, your healthcare provider may be able to see a more clear picture of the thyroid issue. For example, a normal TSH and normal T4 show a normal thyroid. A low TSH and a high T4 generally means an overactive thyroid. A high TSH and low T4 means an underactive thyroid. A low TSH and low T4 mean low thyroid function because of another problem such as with the pituitary gland or hypothalamus of the brain. A low T3 value with a high TSH value is diagnostic evidence of low thyroid function. By contrast, a low TSH value with a high T3 value is the opposite and means an overactive thyroid. Other thyroid tests may be a part of standard thyroid workup or used when needed. Some have specific aims. The others are used for screening purposes or to evaluate possible causes. RT3 tests can help find problems with thyroid control. TG tests can also predict long-term treatment outcomes. TPOAB tests can help confirm Hashimoto's disease if your TSH is up but your T4 is low. TRAB tests help diagnose Graves' disease. TGAB tests help diagnose autoimmune disease but also can help clarify any post-cancer treatment test results. Your test results, symptoms, medical history and current health are all factors when a healthcare provider looks at how well your thyroid is working. The test results are based on a common standard for each test, all of which look at thyroid function in different ways.